So, Jack, uh, a disappointing loss on Tuesday. Was that unexpected? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, if you look at the run they were on, they were unbeaten in 13, I think. I mean, going to Exeter, it's obviously a long travel, but you'd, you'd think they'd pick up the three points. But it shows what I think everyone knows now that anyone can beat anyone in this league. You look at Sheffield Wednesday, they were flying high, thinking they're going to get first. Lost to uh, Forest Green, drew with Cheltenham. It's all up in the air again. Um, I mean, but you can't even forget how impressive that run was. I mean, not many teams have done that. I've just, say Sheffield Wednesday did on a good run. But one loss and it can kind of spiral into something worse. I mean, Duff admitted after the game the players weren't at it. Yeah, so it hopes it's just going to be kind of a, a warning shot for the players. And I mean, we won't find out until tomorrow when we play Markham, but. That's what you kind of got to hope, get three points and back on the trail for automatic promotion. So, top two chances. That brings me on to my next question. That um, There's been a lot of Barnsley fans looking at that, you know, with run that they've been on, understandable, I suppose. Um, the defeat against Exeter, does that derail any any hope of uh, top two? I don't think so. I mean, like with Wednesday losing, Plymouth are obviously up there. They're one of the teams I think might struggle to, to catch now. But with Sheffield Wednesday, Ipswich, we're still in contention. Um, and if they can do a run like they have done in recent months, then there's no reason why they can't get back up there. But they need to get that confidence back up. They need to get the spirit back in the team. And a lot of other teams might not be able to do that. But I think we, obviously, with the way they've been playing, the community it's shown, compared to last year especially, there's always that chance. Um, but I mean, the main thing now is getting the, the fans back behind them. I mean, if they can do that tomorrow against Markham, there's no reason why they can't back up on the automatic promotion trail. And back at Oakwell tomorrow, uh, Markham in a relegation battle. Uh, it could go one way or other, surely. I mean, Markham, the what are they, 22nd in the league? Yeah. Yeah, so they're going to be probably coming out all guns blazing, yeah. fighting for their lives. Does, does that have any, any impact in how Michael Duff will approach it? Definitely. You, you, you think they're obviously just got as they always do. That's what you've got, to, you've got to do in this league. You can't take other teams in the bottom or at the top for granted. We've done well against the top teams this season. Maybe sometimes we've slipped up, maybe a bit of kind of worrying about what they're going to do. Um, you'd expect them to be pressing back at them. Um, so the, the, a lot of the game, you'll expect them to have 11 men behind the ball. Um, but they've just got to break them down. And if they can break them down, they should be able to get three points. Um, I mean, the reverse fixture, obviously, is probably one of the worst performances of the season. Lost 1 0 away at Markham. They, they were the only team about a home win at that time. And at that point, you thought maybe they're going to fall off if the Reds. Um, but they didn't. They've carried on. And hopefully, tomorrow, if they can continue, um, they should be able to pick up three points. And Barnsley have been great at Oakwell recently. So going into that, they're obviously going to be giving them a lot of confidence. You know, so it's another thing for the fans. You need the fans behind them. They showed up against Derby, Plymouth, and obviously Sheffield Wednesday, which is a big win. If the fans can get behind them, like they have done for the last few weeks, then the, there's no reason why they can't go out into that pitch and play with confidence. I mean, a missile in mock might not be a game that gets the fans excited, but for the players, they need to be riled up for it. They need to revenge that loss, both on Tuesday and against Morecambe. So it's kind of seeing how it goes, but hopefully, it's a, it's a game that can win. So Duff at his press conference yesterday, anything come from that? Any any team news that you can give? Um, yeah, I mean, he, he said the players um, are going to be kind of going for it after the game. He backs them. Obviously, we've not lost many games, but when we have lost them, we have tended to come back after it. Um, the one thing he has taken from the game on, on Tuesday, obviously it's a negative loss against a fairly good Exeter side, is the, the fans' reaction afterwards. You would expect after travelling all that way they might be a dis bit disgruntled, but he, he said that wasn't the case, they got behind them, they stayed until the end, they clapped them off. So hopefully if we can do something like that again um, on tomorrow, then should be okay. Uh, any injury news as well, Jack? Um, not particularly. Liam Kitchen, he, he suffered a, a knock to the knee on Tuesday. Um, it looked like he was going to come off at one stage, but he stayed on the pitch until the second half when Robbie Condi replaced him. Um, but he's expected back to play tomorrow, so we should all be good. Johnny Russell's currently on international duty with Jamaica, so when he comes back, they're going to assess him and see how it goes. Uh, make sure you keep subscribing to our YouTube channel for more pre-match Barnsley FC team news.